Hey guys, this is Scott with Boomer on Bass, doing a quick video today on how to buy Boomer. Today we're going to be using Coinbase and Coinbase Wallet. You should be able to use pretty much any major exchange and the, the process will be about the same. Um, the buttons will look a little bit different, but the, the overall process will be the same. So to start out with, we need to go to coinbase.com. If you don't have an account yet, you'll need to sign up and create an account. You'll also want to link a debit card. Um, debit cards will allow you to buy instantly and you won't have to wait for any money to clear. If you use a bank transfer or a wire transfer, it'll typically take a few days for the money to get through and it takes you a lot longer to get started. So once we're all signed up, logged in, and you have your bank account linked in, your Coinbase will look something like this. And what we're going to want to do is click on buy and sell. It'll bring up this little window. We don't want to buy Bitcoin. We want to buy Ethereum. Boomer is a, a token on base and base is an Ethereum layer two. So we'll need to swap Ethereum to get our Boomer tokens. I'm just going to buy $100 real quick right here. Click on preview buy. Everything looks good to go. Click on buy now. This can take a minute to process. Um, while that's happening, we can move over here and set up our Coinbase wallet. So I'm using Coinbase on my desktop and Coinbase wallet on my phone. It can be a little bit confusing. You can also use Coinbase on your phone. Um, the Coinbase wallet app, it's this top option up here. You can also see the coinbase.com app right below it. Um, you can use uh, the Coinbase wallet, also the app on your phone if you prefer the phone over desktop. So we're going to download Coinbase wallet. Once you open that up, it's going to look like this. You'll click create a new wallet. You'll input a pin and that'll allow you to start using your Coinbase wallet. Once you get it all set up, it'll look like this. What you need to do from here is go to receive and that will open up your wallets. You'll see next to Ethereum address, there's two options. You can either open up a QR code and scan that, or you can copy with the little square button to the right. So for my purposes, I'm gonna be copying this Ethereum address, and then I need to send it back over to my computer to go ahead and input it into coinbase.com. So we're back on coinbase.com here. You can see that the Ethereum buy order went through. So now what we need to do is transfer that to our Coinbase wallet account. So however you got your, your wallet address, I emailed it over to myself and then I created this little base scan page uh, where I can just copy the address from here. But however you wanna get your Coinbase wallet address over to Coinbase, you're going to need that. So I have it copied on my clipboard here. We'll go to transfer. We're going to send crypto. We're going to send Ethereum. Send $95. And then we'll click on two. This is where we're going to select the network. You want to make sure you're selecting base network. Now base network is going to have a much lower fee. It seems to think it's $0 here compared to mainnet Ethereum, which would have a 46 cent send fee. And then on mainnet, there's a lot of other fees. Base as a layer two is much more cost effective, especially if you're new in the crypto space and you wanna play around a little bit without incurring a tremendous amount of fees. So does the recipient accept ETH on base? Yes, um, if you're using pretty much any standard ETH wallet, you'll, you'll be able to use base. So yes, it's supported. We're going to paste this wallet address in and go ahead and select it. So now we can see that we're sending on the base network 95 USD worth of Ethereum to our Coinbase wallet address. You may want to just double check and verify that this is the correct address before you proceed. If you send it to the wrong address, there's no getting it back. Whoever you sent it to just came up on however much money you sent them. So always double check your addresses, make sure you're sending it to the right address. And once you're confident that you have the right 
address input. You can click preview send, show you the address again, and you can go ahead and just click on send now. Um, if you have a two-factor authentication, it's going to ask you to input this code. Um, otherwise, it should just send directly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and input this code, and then we'll wait a few minutes. It usually will take three to five minutes to send your Ethereum off of Coinbase. So give it just a few minutes, and then we will come back on Coinbase Wallet, and I'll show you where to go from there. All right, guys, you can see that our Ethereum has arrived in our Coinbase wallet. See the balance 94, 97 up at the top and showing on the Ethereum balance. What we're going to want to do now is go ahead and swap this Ethereum for Boomer tokens. So we can do that by clicking the swap button up at the top. That'll bring us to this screen. We'll decide how much Ethereum we want to swap. In this case, I'll just be hitting the max button. That will choose most of my Ethereum, but it's going to leave a little bit behind in order to pay for any fees. It probably doesn't need to leave quite $3 behind. Um, fees on base are usually only a couple of cents, but we'll just go ahead with this balance. We can see that we're swapping from ETH and then to, there's a choose asset button there. So we're going to need to click on that and then we'll input Boomer so we can get some Boomer tokens. So when you click choose asset, it'll bring you to this screen. What we're going to need to do here is input the Boomer contract address into the search box. There's a few different places you can find the contract address. It's on our Twitter, it's on our Telegram, it's on our website, but you can also find it through um, Dex websites like Dex Tools or Dex Screener. So I've gone ahead and pulled up the Boomer contract address on Dex Screener here. Uh, this will give you a little bit of information about the token, but most importantly, right at the top where it says Boomer slash WETH, there's a little button there you can click, and that will just copy the Boomer contract address. So you can just copy paste it right from this into the, the Coinbase wallet. So after we have that copied, we'll move back to Coinbase wallet, and we'll paste that contract address into the search bar. Now you want to make sure you have the right contract address here because that's what's dictating the token you're swapping to. So we can see here that the Boomer contract address ends in 2049, but it's always good practice to find a, a second source like the Twitter, the Telegram, or the website, and just double check that you have the correct contract address before you go ahead and move forward. This one looks correct to me, so I'll click on Boomer, and then that will set us up, it'll show we're swapping 0 0.0291 Ethereum for 81,932 Boomer. So we'll click find the best price. It'll give us a little swap preview here. You do wanna double check that shows we're swapping now $91 of ETH. Looks like the price has gone down a little bit for $90 of Boomer. That's, it's typical for there to be a little difference in the values there, but you do want to make sure that they are pretty close. Um, if they're way, way off, that would indicate that you're experiencing some kind of slippage issue and you don't want to proceed with the, the trade. Um, looks like we're only losing a little over 1% here. That's pretty typical for slippage when you're swapping uh, Ethereum for any, any other tokens. So we'll go ahead and click on Swap. Uh, we'll see that the transaction begins to process, and this should happen in a matter of just a couple seconds. Uh, you can click Done, and then when we go back to the main wallet screen, we'll see that we already have Boomer in our wallets. So it's that easy, guys, swapping or going from just money in your bank account to Boomer. You can do it in, in a few minutes or less once you have everything set up. So if we want to look at some other wallet options, we can go ahead and dive into that. Um, we'll swap back to the main screen and I'll show you how you can do this with some other wallets like MetaMask or whatever wallet you prefer. So if you have another wallet that you prefer besides Coinbase wallet, like I'll be using MetaMask for this example, but it'll be pretty similar for any wallet you wanna use. Um, if you're 
going directly from an exchange, you can go ahead and just send your Ethereum on the base network, and it should show up in your MetaMask on the base network. So we can select our network here uh, in the top left. I already have base loaded up, but yours may not pre-populate here. So you'll need to go to add network. Base may show up in this list here, but if it doesn't, you'll need to click add a network manually. Now you're gonna need some information here. I got this, I just Googled how to add base to MetaMask. Um, my head's in the way a little bit. Um, you'll just input this data right here into these fields in your MetaMask wallet, and then that should allow you to bring up the base network as a usable network on your MetaMask. Now, if you're going straight from exchange with uh, base ETH, you can skip this part, but if you have mainnet Ethereum that you want to bridge over to ETH, you can do that as well. So we'll go to bridge.base.org, and from here we'll connect our wallet. We wanna be on the Ethereum mainnet. We want our wallet to be on the Ethereum mainnet and we can just select however much Ethereum we want to send from mainnet to base. So you just input that there, click on deposit ETH, approve the confirmation, and then that will start the transaction. This can take 10 or 15 minutes sometimes, so don't worry if it's taking a little while, you're just gonna have to be patient and wait for it to come through. You can track it in the transactions tab. Transactions tab is usually pretty slow as well, so I usually just like to walk away for a few minutes and, and let the network do its thing while I wait for my base ETH to show up. Once it does arrive, you'll be able to switch your network from Ethereum to base, and then your base ETH balance should show up here, whether you bridged or sent it directly from an exchange. Once you have your base ETH, you're gonna wanna go to Uniswap. You'll connect your wallet, and you wanna make sure you're on base network on Uniswap and base network on your MetaMask. You'll be able to input how much ETH you wanna swap, but first we need to select the token. So this will be similar. You wanna select the token. I'll be using Dex Screener again. This is the desktop site. So right up here in the top, you can just click on this button. It'll copy the token address, and then you can bring it back over here and paste it in. Again, we see the address ending in 2049. Always wanna verify that you have the correct contract address. We'll select Boomer. From here, you just decide however much ETH you want to swap to Boomer. And um, I don't have any ETH in this wallet, so it's not gonna let me do it, but there'll be a swap button here. You can just go ahead and click swap, approve the confirmations, and it should do the swap for you. If you're using MetaMask and you want to view the tokens, you can go over here to the tokens tab. I already have Boomer imported, but if it's not showing up for you, you'll need to go to import tokens and you can just once again, paste in this token contract address. Um, there'll be some other information that pops up. It'll, it'll want a ticker, which is just Boomer. And then the number of decimals, that's 18 decimals. So you can just put that in click on next, and then your Boomer balance will show up in your MetaMask. Just as a quick side note, if you are using the MetaMask app on mobile, you'll need to use the browser within the MetaMask app. You can't just use your standard browser on your phone. The MetaMask has a, a browser built into the app, and that's what you'll need to use to connect to these websites to be able to process the transactions. So that's how simple it is, guys. Um, it's just a couple of swaps and you've got yourself some boomer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends so that they can figure out how to buy some boomer for themselves. Thanks guys. Boomer stage, now let me say about this bull run. Boomer on base, rising with the sun. It's a crypto sensation, bring the joy and cheer. Making boomers dance and sing, forgetting all their fear. Boomer on bass, swing it away. Let's have some fun, enjoy the day. Crypto dreams and laughter. 
We're all in this race. Boomers unite with Boomer on base.